Hi guys and Merry Christmas. It probably isn't Christmas anymore when you're watching this, but as of recording it is Christmas Day. It is the only time I've had free to record this video and today's video is going to be a ranking of all four Matrix movies now that they have released Matrix Resurrections. Before we get into this, please let me know down below what your ranking is as I'm interested to see. I'm sure there'll be many similar lists, but anyways, let's get into it. I'll be honest, before this film's release, I only watched all these films in lead up to this for the first time. I've seen The Matrix before a couple of years ago, but I'd never been that diehard of a fan of it to be super excited for this film, so I just waited until this one did come out as an excuse for me to watch the others. While that may damage my opinion on it overall as I don't have that nostalgia for this franchise, I really don't think that that is too necessary in terms of enjoying this film. This film does what many other big franchises have done in the past few years and by bringing back the franchise when it seemed to have ended. And when bringing back the franchise they tend to copy a similar template of the first film that made this a success like what The Force Awakens did in the Star Wars franchise and here while they do copy the same formula for the first hour or so they literally play it too close to it and tie in all these easter eggs which is, is fan service yes but sometimes fan service can be overdone and not earned and this film really disappointed in that area because there were many occasions where it would replicate something that happened in the other movies but it just didn't feel like it earned it or it was just relying on that for its qualities. But yeah, as it does copy the first film a fair bit in the first half, I do have to give my respects that this film does attempt something new and it's not a bad idea but the execution was bad. They have some really good ambitions for certain things. It's a very ambitious movie and experimental with how self-aware it's trying to be. And there was a point when watching I couldn't realise if I liked it or not but overall I've had some days to think about it after watching and I just don't think this worked at all and the way that the series was brought back for this film just didn't seem to justify having this fourth film, it just just felt like it was bringing it back just to grab a bit more money. To its credit, there's a really cool visual style to it, and as you'd expect with any Matrix film, the action is very cool. Maybe not as unique as it was back in the day, as that was quite revolutionary at the time, and now it's more normal to see this kind of action. But as cool as the action and visuals were, they just it doesn't make up for some other problems. Another being the recast of Morpheus and Agent Smith. They do justify why they have those recasts as the characters of Morpheus and Agent Smith aren't really a physical being that I just couldn't buy it with these new actors. Yaya Abdul-Mateen II, he's a really good actor and while he did do his part okay in this film as well as Jonathan Groff, I just couldn't latch onto them as it felt like a poor imitation of it as no one can really match the heights of Lawrence Fishburne and Hugo Weaving. I think the execution overall was quite poor and many casual movie girls will look at that and be annoyed but at the end of the day I do kind of respect it for trying to be a bit different in the second half while it just didn't really work out as they intended. As I mentioned, I've only seen these sequels in the past few months and I was well aware of how infamous this film was as it was a disappointing end to the trilogy. Watching it through, yes, it really does have some issues, but it's not an awful film. I'll start off by saying this film doesn't feel like it should be a thing because if you've seen it, it just doesn't contain the necessary aspects to warrant this runtime as it's essentially part two of the second as it's kind of split up into two. and. I think with some trimming it could have just been done into a second film which is a bit longer than it currently was because the only thing you'll remember from this film is the action and that's not because it's jaw dropping. Yeah it's cool but the only thing you'll remember of the action is because there only seems to be action. I knew people were disappointed with this film but I didn't know to what extent and why and watching through it I was surprised to see that main characters are barely in it and only really show up for the beginning and then the final battle or the the ending. There's a huge portion in the middle where it's just action with these side characters that we don't really care about. And where the other two films before this were quite clever with trying to work in some imagery of certain aspects, here it just feels like it's gone for the paycheck and just cashed in on some big scale action scenes with a few details added in at the end. So overall I was disappointed with this film as you can see with my rating compared to 
the ones I'm yet to talk about, but I don't think it's an awful film, but I understand the backlash. I was surprised to see that I actually liked this one quite a bit more than everyone else has. I actually thought it was really intriguing. Not on the same level as its predecessor, however, I do still think it's quite a decent film, as you can see by my rating. It nicely built upon the first by expanding its world and certain powers that come within it, whilst also increasing the action spectacles. Now, big action isn't always better, as you can tell by this third film where it's the biggest scale and it's not that exciting but the way these action scenes are choreographed, executed, just make them so thrilling. However, you can be taken out of it with some dodgy CGI points as known the infamous Agent Smith scene. This is a very hit or miss film for many as the ending can annoy you if you're a diehard fan and may split fans down the middle as it betrays what became before it but I think it was a nice twist and it didn't ruin the experience for me. I didn't, after seeing the twist, I wasn't there getting annoyed. I actually enjoyed it. So for me, this film comes in at second place quite easily. And to be honest, all these films have been quite easily cemented in their positions with their score. Even back before Matrix Re Resurrections even came out, I think everybody knew that this film would come in at first place as it's such an iconic film in history, not just in its genre. It combines exciting action, decent special effects, especially for its time, as well as a plot which makes you question your reality, which is always a crowd pleaser. The Matrix is a film which many, many love. I'll be honest, its first half is quite slow and dialogue heavy but I think that all pays off as it's kind of a, a mystery at first unless you know about it from pop culture like I did. It's quite a mystery you're like oh this is a this is interesting how it's playing out and you see how that happens and the reveals are quite mind-blowing. This came out at a time where computers were starting to get used more frequently and seeing something so heavily involved in this plot really did appeal to many and to us it's quite interesting because you see films which deal with technology from that time which haven't aged too well but here it still does hold up today and as you see by a newly released film in the franchise it's still something that could work today just maybe not not in terms of story i'll be honest though the characters in this franchise have never really been that intriguing to me as they don't seem to have too much depth but to us that didn't bother me too much as it was more about the experience they go through rather than them themselves but it is one of the best sci-fi action adventures of all time and i really do understand why it has such a big fan base. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, if you could comment down below what your ranking would be. Judging by my ranking, I'm essentially saying every sequel got worse. But yeah, sorry, this may be, this video may be coming out quite late. I've been very, very busy lately, but I'm looking to work around that eventually soon, now that we're coming to the end of the year. Like I said in the intro, I hope you have a great Christmas or had a good Christmas. And for me, at this moment, I'm about to have my Christmas dinner. So I'll leave by saying thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and hopefully I'll see you in my next video.